With prayer, the Prophet ﷺ would link with Allah With salah, our Prophet ﷺ would find his peace. When was the last time we found peace in our salah? When was the last time we complained to Allah instead of complaining to anyone else? Inni ashku bathi wa huzni ilallah. Verily, I complain of my, of, of my problems and my worries only to Allah Let me give you the example of how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam connected with Allah. In the authentic hadith in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, Abdullah ibn Shakir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that I entered upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whilst he was praying and I saw that his beard was dripping wet as if a bucket of water had been poured on his head. As if a bucket of water had been poured on his head and his beard was dripping wet from crying from the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya Salaam, can you imagine that? Our Prophet Sallallahu crying so much from the fear of Allah. Can you imagine that? In the authentic hadith, Hudayfa radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I prayed with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the middle of the night. And he, in the first rak'ah, he recited Surah Baqarah, Surah Al Imran, and Surah Nisa. And he stopped at every verse where Allah mentions Jannah. And he asked Allah, Oh Allah, let me enter Jannah. And he stopped at every verse of Jahannam. And he said, Ya Allah, save me from Jahannam. Every verse, Ya Salam. Six to seven hours of praying at night. And in the morning, jihad in the cause of Allah. With no food to eat, nothing to drink and fasting for three to four days at a time. Such was our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Such was our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said, I found, I woke up in the middle of the night and I searched around for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I, my hands touched his feet whilst he was praying and he was saying in his tajda the following dua. What is the dua that he was saying? Allahumma inni a'udhu bi ridaka min sakhatik. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in your good mercy and your goodness from your anger. Wa bi mu'afatika min uqubatik. And in your forgiveness from your punishment. Wa a'udhu bika minka. And I seek refuge in you from you. La uhsi thana'un alayk. I cannot praise you adequately. Anta kama athnayta ala nafsik. You are as you praise yourself. Look at the way the Prophet ﷺ praised Allah. Look at the way his heart went out to Allah. Look at the way how he was doing it purely without telling his wife, sincerely between him and Allah alone. In the authentic hadith, Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrated that he once prayed with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the middle of the night. And the Prophet ﷺ made the following dua. Listen to the dua. It is wallahi, not the words of someone Except a prophet of God. Listen to how Rasulullah called out to Allah. And imagine when was the last time you called out to Allah in the same way? La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. Allahumma, O oh our Lord, Anta nuru samawati wal ardi wa man fihin. You are the light of the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between. Lakal hamd for you is praise. You are the originator of the heavens and the earth and that which is in it. And for you is praise. You are the supporter and the nourisher and cherisher and sustainer of the heavens and the earth and that which is in it. And for you is praise. Allahumma, Allahumma anta al haq. Oh Allah, you are the truth. And your statement is true. And your promise is true. And Jannah is true. And the fire is true. And the prophets are true. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is true. Allahumma bika amant. Allahumma he believed in you. Wa alayka tawakkalt. And upon you I have put my trust. Wa bilayk. And to your judgment I have submitted. And to you I complain. Forgive me that which I have done in the past and what I have yet to do. And that which I have done publicly and that which I will do in secret. 
فاغفر لي ما قدمت وما أخرت وما أسررت وما أعلنت وما أنت أعلم به مني and that which you know more about me than me أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر you are the first and you are the last لا إله إلا أنت there is no God but you this is how our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pursued the pleasure of Allah azawajal by praising him and worshipping him in a way by Allah that no one could ever do your salam. And this is how his heart connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.